Hi guys, this is Matthias coming at you here with another video about the Elite Soldier, the anti-vehicle kit, Tank Hunter. And using this kit makes you sometimes feel like a super overpowered sniper that can basically take out anything. Well, actually, you can counter anything. The only thing that can stay away from you is uh, planes flying high enough above you so you can't angle this tanky gewehr up high enough to hit them because it requires the bipods in order for it to fire. Now, to be honest, this is not the elite soldier that I've had the most kills with. Not even close, actually. I have a video getting over 100 kills with the Villa Perosa on Saritzin, which so far is the number one elite kit that I've had most success with, in terms of kills, that is. Second would be the Trench Raider. But the way this tank giver M1918 counters vehicles makes this kit rather unique, and if you're able to stay alive long enough and deal enough damage, then this kit can definitely be a deciding factor to whether or not you will win or lose a very close match. This, however, is not one of those close matches, and unfortunately, I have to say that many times I do best with an elite kit when it really doesn't matter at all, when our team is basically steamrolling the other team just like this round. Shit! F Did you see that horse? Holy shit! The bullet velocity of this weapon is 780 meters per second, which is crazy high. But as you can see in that clip shooting that infantry running, you still have to lead at longer ranges on moving targets such as infantry and planes. Normally, you can put your aim directly on target on any target that this weapon is intended for, meaning tanks, because in Battlefield 1, tanks are slow moving vehicles. However, tanks are not the only vehicles in this game. Artillery trucks at long range you might have to lead on if they're driving around. The same goes for the transport vehicles that in some situations, if they're far enough away from you, you might have to lead in order to hit them. The secondary for this kit is the sort of shotgun. It's the same weapon that you have as a pilot and as a tanker if you have unlocked it. As a tank hunter to use the sort of shotgun, there's no requirement at all. You just have to press key number two if you play on PC using default keys. But if you're curious about this sort of shotgun just in general and you want to unlock it, then you need to be a level 10 tanker in order to use it. Now the gadgets for this class is the trench periscope and the anti-tank grenades. The trench periscope being the same gadget as you have for the scout class and the anti-tank grenades are the same ones that you have for the assault class. As you can see in this video, it is possible to do rather good with the tank hunter, but just like with every elite soldier, there are specific counters against it, such as, for example, the bayonet charge and the AT rocket gun, not to mention all the vehicles. But the one thing that this specific elite kit is rather weak against is multiple enemies. The primary is really not all that good at close range, and its close range weapon, which is the sort of shotgun, only have two shots before you have to reload. Now don't get me wrong, the sort of shotgun is great, but it is especially great against one or two enemies. Now one of many things worth knowing about the tank hunter is that this is one of two elite classes that comes with a gas mask equipped at all times. 
The Sentry and Villa Perosa both dies very quickly to gas, and those two kits can't even equip it, even if you press the right key. Now one of the things about this kit that makes it fit me so well is that I always, well, as much as I can at least, go for enemy vehicles. I mainly play Assault, and the reason why I play Assault is for that purpose. What? Wanna go for it? Mines here? Alright, so the truck got away this time, but I do not give up so easily. Yeah. It's very common here on Galicia that people with artillery trucks, they want to have an overlook of sea. Not only is it very common that sea is the most contested, because it's kind of the middle flag on this map, but it's also quite easy for an artillery truck to get a lot of kills there and dominate it. Right here, right now, I want to make sure that that doesn't happen against my team. Here, again, you see what I was talking about before with the limitations of this gun, which is based on the bipods and is the same as with other weapons that has bipods. Disable that plane. Yeah, he's going down. <laughs> now all elite classes can be healed and resupplied, just like all of the normal classes, but they cannot be revived. Normally, one of the keys to your success is that you have at least one uh. medic with you. Preferably at all times. You will of course run out of ammo eventually if you stay alive long enough, but if you have to choose between either a support player or a medic, uh, if you have just one friend that wants to help you out, then a medic is definitely the first choice. This is so satisfying. Yeah, I got him. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a horse nearby, make sure that you don't lose it. This can of course be easier said than done. Any member of your team or the enemy team can get up on the horse and ride away with it. It can also very easily get killed while standing idle next to you. But using the horse to resupply and heal yourself can be very, very valuable. I try to do it as much as I can, and I'll show you a little bit of that in just a moment here. So yeah, now I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. We got him. Um Spotting, please, my friends. Opa. We have lost objective Edward. Have you in me? I'll take their horse. And he takes my horse. The horse is a tank hunter's best friend, I think. Oh shit, I need, so, I need yeah, healing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm slowly healing here. Bonnie as medic. Wait, oh, nice. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, movement mechanics are so bad. Oh, I killed him. Yes. Nice. I go first, I, go, I, I can go first, I go first. Oh. So many. 